All right, thanks, Cass. Well, new at six, taking a live look over Apalachicola Bay, looking beautiful tonight. But businesses and oystermen are wondering what's next after the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission officially voted to shut down the bay today. ABC 27's Christian Thomas joins us live alongside the bay tonight. Christian, there's now a push to keep the bay open. So far, there have been more than a thousand people that signed a petition to get the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission to keep the bay open. The bay has been closed to oyster harvesting since August 1st with an emergency order issued after seeing a decrease in oysters in the area. Today's vote means it will not reopen until 2025 unless things get better. FWC says this bay produces 90% of the state's oysters. Thomas Cooper is an 11th generation oyster man here in East Point. He says a five year suspension on harvesting will drastically impact the industry. The only thing I've done my whole life ever since I was four years old and they just kind of like just took it away from us, you know, and there's a lot of people that's, that feels about it just like I do. Since 2013, FWC says the harvest has dropped dramatically. That drop has been attributed to things like low fresh water flow in the basin and fewer adult oysters now in an area impacted by the pandemic. Closing the bay will also have an impact on tourism with many people coming to the bay because they're known for their great oysters. Live in Franklin County, Christian Thomas, ABC 27.